Hey guys, Richard here, and uh, we're uh, just getting out. It's 10:21. Gotta go pay the car tag. But let's go fishing. Okay, so I just showed up at the uh, the Arkansas River, same spot in the last two videos, and just looking at the river from up here, it looks like glass. I can see sand where I couldn't see sand before. So it looks like the uh, they have limited the water coming out of the dam, which is fantastic. Let's uh, let's go see if our little honey hole has uh, captured any fish. So what I have here is just a random bag of uh, of uh, jigs that I tied up, and I'm just going to reach in here and just grab one at random, and let's see what happens with that. I got one, but it's tied up on something. There we go. Oh, okay, all right. So it's my little blue uh, ostrich feathers. So I have uh, the two two barbs that were uh, the uh, like turquoise, and the other one which is like a uh, I don't know a rich blue, and I just dyed the uh, I dyed the white uh, Chanel uh, blue because what happened is uh, well the, the the dye that came off of these feathers got onto my hands so when I wrapped the blue sh uh, wrapped the uh, the white Chanel it got a tint of blue. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and stain the whole thing blue. So I, I stained it uh, blue. I went ahead and dyed it blue. And I might show you that trick later on. But I'm going to take the bag of tricks down there, see what happens. And uh, we'll uh, grab our Zebco 33. Hopefully go catch some fish. <laughs> see you on the water. Okay, so a little post narration here. I'm back in the... Back in my home office where I tie up my jigs, sound quality might be a thousand times better uh, due to the microphone and somewhat controlled environment I have here. But anyway, that fishing lure that we just tied on, I fished with it for about a half an hour and I just wasn't getting any bites. Something I learned that was the first ostrich, ostrich tail that uh, I tied. Uh, one of the things ostrich does that I learned is that it clumps up really tight and it provides very little action in the water. So unlike a marabou feather, uh, a turkey feather, uh, the ostrich is more of, uh, I'm going to try to keep it more of an accent feather. Uh, kind of like those those really light blue feathers were, just to give it a, you know, a uh, contrasting color. So what I decided to do was tie on a another fishing jig that I made and this is although very similar to the uh, the Easter grass fishing lure I assure you it's a hundred percent crappie jig tying material so we uh, we fished that for oh until I lost it what happened was well God bless alright so what happened was the uh, the lure actually got tangled up in somebody else's line out on one of those pillars and it became a battle of whose line is going to be stronger and it turned out that the line hung up on one of those pillars was stronger and it and it stole that lure away from me but I've, I tied up three so it's uh, the holographic rainbow kind of uh, Mylar fibers is is what that was, and that's the kind of lure that made me think of that uh, that Easter grass jig. It's sitting out there in the water, so when the river dries up, I'll go out there and see if I can't find it. But like I say, I tied up. I got two more in the bag. So what I decided to do then was actually tie up something that wasn't something I made. I, I put a shaky head on an a cream little fishy. And I think that these are about three, three and a half inches long and fished it for a little bit. And it wasn't very long until I caught my second ever sauger. Pretty pleased with this fish, although it was somewhat considerably smaller in size than the first sauger. I was, uh, I was, you know, still pleased that I caught my second sauger in a row at uh, at this location, one when the water was raging, and one when the, the current was was strong enough. So what I did is I threw it out to those pillars, let the current take it down, 
and then let the current provide the action on the jig and then just just reeled in pretty slow and that seemed to be all it took to keep that lure closer to the bottom let the current wag that tail and then next thing you know fish on so here we go uh, tying on the cream little fishy and let's go catch this sauger So there you have it, second sauger at the Arkansas River in Jinx, Oklahoma. This guy was, you know, like I say, considerably smaller than the last one, but uh, fun to catch nonetheless. Uh, so after that, I, I learned how to handle them. You got to watch that gill plate, they're very sharp, and watch those teeth, and you should be fine. So that's it. That's all I had before I had to go to work. Uh, heading heading that way now. So you guys. Uh, take it easy, and we will see you next time.